Hello together, this is Christian Schütter from SAP Experience. I would like to give you a brief overview and introduction into the risk management and how you can facilitate the tools which you can download in our Tiki store related to the subject. So risk management, from my experience, is often underestimated. Uh, but is a very, very project management, uh, important project management area. So there should be a process in place that risks are really discovered and all risks are discovered in a uh, standard process of project management, reported and that all areas where risk can occur are permanently monitored. There is also an overview uh, on which are possible areas of risk and there are several. So it's important to bring risks up and to log those. For example, in this Excel file, uh, our risk log where the risk description can be put in and then we can have uh, an estimation whether it has impact on schedule, budget or scope, what is the impact, how we want to mitigate, um, who is responsible and what is the status of having this done. So this can then also be used uh, to report the most important risks and to filter those, but it's really important to collect all the risks. Uh, what is from my point of view also a very good practice in the beginning of a project to run through a structured risk analysis and there is a very good um, word paper which I discovered uh, during my 20 years uh, doing this and I did this several times uh, very in the very beginning with uh, the customer project manager together just in order to make an initial status of risks which we are probably facing in the project and doing this in a very structured way. So what we do have here is um, entry condition related risks, complexity related risks and other calamities like stuff changes, uh, sickness and, and other type of failures. And for each of these areas, uh, we do have uh, a format and different topics to judge and uh, out of this we can simply see whether a certain area is on a low or high risk level and we can also do this uh, then for all the other points and finally uh, we are going to weight the different entry condition risks and we are coming to an overall judgment of the involved risks from all these perspectives, uh, which is very good because with this you can really create management awareness from the very beginning on certain topics where risks are involved. So there is uh, other areas of this risk analysis and what is also from my point of view very important uh, that we are guided into a way of thinking uh, already for all these high evaluated areas. What can we do? What could be a mitigation to reduce this risk involved? Finally, also to do this for the external calamities that we are looking on what resources do we have on board in our project where we do not have any replacement and is, is, is it really possible to run the project over a certain time uh, facing these single points of failure. So I just can recommend do proper risk analysis and risk management in your projects at the very beginning in the project setup phase 
even in the preparation phase for the kickoff meeting very early in project preparation, run through this risk analysis and get a first statement on this. And this is also something what you can do like every half year or every year once, redo this risk analysis and verify if you are on the way in a more risky environment or if you have successfully mitigated certain risks. So all these tools which I've shown, you can find in the Digistore in our download area. You can download the files single as a single file or you can also download the whole package. Have a successful risk management on your project. This was Christian Schütte from SAP Experience.